I want to open up with the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Verse 2. And they cover the fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house even a man in his heritage. I want to give all praise and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rikakadosh, and thank the uh, Balalax, the Akim out there teaching, the elders out there teaching and preaching, uh, risking their lives to do so, um, and the great brothers that's out there also with. Uh, preaching and teaching sincerely throughout the earth okay so I'm going to open up with this video I'm not to receive any proceeds regarding this video and I'll uh, conclude this video with uh, some precepts thank you now it's time for a brief history of the United States of America boys and girls ready to get started once upon a time there were these people in europe called pilgrims and they were afraid of being persecuted so they all got in a boat and sailed to the new world where they wouldn't have to be scared ever again oh i'm so relaxed i feel so much safer but as soon as they arrived they were greeted by savages and they got scared all over again so they killed them all now you'd think wiping out a race of people would calm them down but no instead they started getting frightened of each other Witch. So they burned witches. In 1775, they started killing the British so they could be free. And it worked. But they still didn't feel safe. So they passed a second amendment which said every white man could keep his gun. I loves my gun. Loves my gun. Which brings us to the genius idea of slavery. You see, boys and girls, the white people back then were also afraid of doing any work. So they went to Africa, kidnapped thousands of black people, brought them back to America, and forced them to work very hard for no money. And I don't mean no money like I work at Walmart and make no money. I mean zero dollars, nothing, not a zip. Doing it that way made the USA the richest country in the world. So did having all that money and free help calm the white people down? No way. They got even more afraid. That's because after 200 years of slavery, the black people now outnumbered the white people in many parts of the South. Well, you can pretty much guess what came next. The slaves started rebelling. There were uprisings. An old master's heads got chopped off. And when white people heard of this, they were freaking out and going, Oh, no, no, no. Don't kill me, big black man. Well, just in the nick of time came Samuel Cole, who in 1836 invented the first weapon ever that could be fired over and over without having to reload. And all the southern whites were like, yeah! But it was too late. The North soon won the Civil War and the slaves were freed. Yep, they were free now to go chop all the old masters' heads off. And everybody was like, oh no, we're gonna die. But the freed slaves took no revenge. They just wanted to live in peace. But you couldn't convince the white people of this. So they formed the Ku Klux Klan. And in 1871, the same year the Klan became an illegal terrorist organization, another group was founded, the National Rifle Association. Soon politicians passed one of the first gun laws, making it illegal for any black person to own one. It was a great year for America, the KKK and the NRA. Of course, they had nothing to do with each other, and this was just a coincidence. One group legally promoted responsible gun ownership, and the other group shot and lynched black people. And that's the way it was all the way to 1955, when a black woman broke the law by refusing to move to the back of the bus. White people just couldn't believe her. Huh? Why won't she move? What's going on? Oh, man, all oh, hell broke loose. Black people everywhere started demanding their rights, and white people had a major freaky field meltdown, and they were all like, run away! And they did. They all ran fleeing to the suburbs where it was all white and safe and clean. And they went out and bought a quarter of a billion guns and put locks on the doors, alarms in the houses, and gates around the neighborhoods. And finally, they were all safe and secure and snug as a bug. And everyone lived happily ever after. I'm going to finish off uh, with some precepts. Let's get the definition of savages or savage. 
collar, out of the collar line uh, dictionary. Someone or something that is savage is extremely cruel, violent, and uncontrolled. Okay? So let's get the book of Exodus chapter 21 and verse 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Let's continue down on uh, verse 24. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, verse 25. Burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. So you did see in the video how cruel and savage that the so-called white man was and still is. Okay, because they love to use reverse psychology and they are always lying because they talk, they talk with a forked tongue. Okay, so let's continue in the book of Numbers because I like to use precept upon precept. Okay, line upon line here a little and there a little. That's in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 28 verse 9 and 10. So like I said, let's go to Numbers 35 and 33. The book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So ye should not pollute the land wherein ye are. For the blood, it defiles the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed it therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Now, I know that was like cartoonish and you know, Esau liked to make fun of things um, that uh, uh, he speak lawfully concerning oppression. Okay, and I'm just paraphrasing. Okay, so let's continue um, in the book of, let's go to Isaiah 33 and verse 1. Let's see what the Lord say. All praised. To Yahweh Shai and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 31, 30, excuse me, Salaki, 33, verse 1. Woe to thee that spoil it, and thou was not spoiled, and dealt treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, Thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Okay, so let's continue with the book of uh, let's go to let's go to Jeremiah chapter thirty and verse sixteen. The book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16 therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thy adversaries every one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and all that preyed upon thee I will give for a prey Let's continue with uh, in the let's go to Obadiah. Let's go to the book of Obadiah. And let's start at Obadiah verse. We'll start at 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thou reward shall return upon thy own head. 
Verse 16. For as ye have drunken up on my holy mountain, his holy mountain is, is uh, Israel. Okay, the Israelites. You know, starting out with the tribe of Judah, the southern tribe, uh, uh, Benjamin and Levi, and then the rest of Israel, the from Ephraim on down, Ephraim, uh, Gad, Simeon, Zebulun, Issachar, Neptuli, Asher, okay, etc. So shall all the heathen drink continually, ye, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they have not been. Verse 17, but on Mount Zion, that's his holy mountain, okay? That's the Israelites. I'm going to start over. But on Mount, up on Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. 18. And the house of Jacob shall be as, shall be a fire. So wait a minute. The house of Jacob shall be a fire because some like say they they gonna be on fire. So let's get that fire. Let's 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 break that fire down. Let's go to Jeremiah uh, five and fourteen. Then we'll continue in Obadiah. Jeremiah chapter five. Let's see that fire and fourteen. Wherefore thus says the Lord. God of, of hosts. So his hosts is angels. And we're going to, you know, use read here for Balaam. Okay? Because Lord in Paleo-Hebrew means Yahweh. Okay? I'm going to start over. Wherefore, thus says the Lord God of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make this, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. That's that fire. And this people would, and it shall devour them. Let's continue in Opadiah. Start over in 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. So Esau. Biblically, okay, that's that's the so-called white man's name is Esau, Edom, the Edomites, okay, Idumia, the Agagites, the Chaldees, okay, they like to use the term, you know, Europeans or Americans or British, the Brits, you know, they like to use the term French. Okay, Dutch, Italians, okay, Russians, okay, the Turks, okay, those are the titles that they've uh, 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 stolen and used to cover up who they truly are biblically, okay, so let's continue. Uh, I'll start here. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord have spoken it. Okay? So let's get the last verse. Let's go to Revelations and I'll close out. Okay, because most of uh, Esau, they don't, they don't like to hear this this verse. Even the uh, the other nations, the heathen nations, they they really don't they don't like this verse right here in Revelation chapter thirteen and verse nine. I'll start there and read verse ten also. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that lead it into captivity, like we read in Jeremiah, shall go into captivity. Like we also just witnessed in the, in the uh, little cartoon that we watch. 
He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Thank you for your time and your listening ear. Shalom.